Hello. So when you start with Drupal, we have seen that whenever we want to add content, we have content types, article and basic page. So the idea behind the content type is that it's a mechanism to take input from the user and store it as a page node or whatever you want to say. So here a basic page basically means whenever you are creating any kind of content, any topic or anything you are going to write about. So there simply is going to be a title and some body. Nothing else is associated with it. Fine. So this is generally like we have seen used for making some simple pages on our site. Now, so this is a content type about a basic page. Similarly, there is a content type called as article. So if you look at article, article is a bit bigger. Obviously, any content that you are going to create will be identified for a generic user by its title. So every content type is going to have a title. Now here in an article, they have provided you a functionality of adding an image. Then there is the main area for the content, actual story, article, whatever is there. And then there are tags. Tags are keywords that can identify or categorize your content. Now, apart from this, there are some other internal information that are automatically gets associated or is useful for publishing options and all is like who was the author when it was last saved, some revision in which menu it should show up, then what are the comment setting, URL aliases and so many other things. And there is an author. This author is the person who is creating this particular page. Now think of this, if I wanted to use my website for a certain purpose, like uh, simplest example would be recipes. You are into cooking and you are making some recipes and you want to write the recipes. Now if you look at any kind of dish or recipe, it basically consists obviously there will be name of the recipe, how to make the recipe. Apart from this, you would want to list the ingredients that are associated with the recipe. Fine. What is the cooking timing for the recipe? The type of recipe. Uh, it could be classified into veg, non-veg, vegan or whatever classifications you want to give. Then based on the cuisine, whether it is Indian, Chinese, Thai, whatever kind of cuisine is there. So there are a lot of multiple things under which the recipe can be classified. So let us say if you wanted to uh, create a recipe or store a recipe and you decided to use the basic page. So you could give the title of the recipe and the remaining things associated with the recipe will be dumped inside this particular body area. Now, as I have mentioned previously also, the idea behind using a content management system is not just to create straightforward single pages. We want to segregate this information and store it in the database so that we can filter them out and display it to the user in many different ways. So one of the ideas, let's, if I create all the recipes over here and I have mentioned this is veg, this is non-veg, it's a certain cuisine or something and then I can only filter it out on the basis of title. Fine. If I wanted to filter it out that whether it is veg, non-veg or something or something else, it will be a difficult task to filter out because all the information, this is a single unit, how it will be stored. So that's not the idea. I want to have multiple fields or inputs over here, title, type, whether it's veg, non-veg, how many it would serve and whatever basically you could segregate the information into. You could have a selection lists for selecting the ingredients like salt, pepper, whatever is required. Those could be predefined ones and you could select it from there and so many other options could be there. Now this way I could when my recipe a particular recipe is stored, everything is stored in the database separately like its title, wage, non wage and so many other informations. I can use that later on to filter out and display it to the user in a desired manner. Now similarly you could create a content type or input mechanism for let us say it's an e-commerce website and you want to compare it for mobile phones. So you would have a title of the mobile phone, model number, company then screen size, RAM size, storage space, what is the processor, 
what type of screen it is and so many other things if you look at any of the e-commerce websites you will see how many points are uh, given to it now again if you do it in these two things it's going to be difficult to utilize that information and segregate like if someone wanted to have a list of all the phones that were having ram which is more than 4 gb so i would not be able to extract it from here in a straightforward manner apart from that even if i am able to do it i might not every time write them in a sequential manner in the same manner so the idea is we create a content type and now you would have understood a content type is an input mechanism over here or a form in html you might have noticed that we create forms it's a kind of a form to take input for a specific type of thing so if i make it for mobile phones i will be taking only input for mobile phones because it is designed to take input for mobile phones so the content type specifically says that this is a content type for mobile phones you will not be ta be taking input on that content type for a recipe because doesn't make sense or even if it's for a mobile you cannot take a input for television also because it falls in a different category so you might create another content type for television or refrigerator or say so now when you have these different input types they are specifically designed to take input for a specific kind of information fine right? which is correlated so every time i will create a new page or new content using the mobile or recipe it defines that the type which i am creating the content which i am creating is either a recipe or either of information about mobile or television or whatever so in drupal that's the idea that you create content types and store information in that particular manner and later on we utilize this to display that information compare it and do multiple operations